two burly boys played Pokemon in their youth. One had to grow up, the other stayed true. Now the large grown-up child can name all of them, but the other guy probably 510. Now what can they do? Why don't they review? Now we'll talk about them till we die. Die? Welcome everybody, I'm Joachim. And I'm Frank. And this is your Certified Pokey Moment. Where we feature and talk about one Pokemon evolution line every week. Today's featured Pokemon is... King Gambit! King Gambit. Oh my gosh, our first the... Gen 9 Pokemon! And a little little Gen 5 sprinkled in there. Yeah, oh, a cross-generational evolution. Okay, this is so cool. I freaking love King Gambit. I just used him on my first Scarlet and Violet team. Okay, let's start from the beginning with typing. Ponyard all the way through King Gambit is a dark steel type. Ponyard evolves into Bisharp, the mid now the middle evolution, at level 52, so it's That's very crazy. high. Black and White introduced a ton of evolutions that happen a lot later, like Hydreigons, like in the 60s. Wow, really? And then, now this is a bit complicated, like a lot of new evolution methods are, but in order to get Bisharp to King Gambit, you have to, with your Bisharp, defeat... Three other Bisharp that are in groups with Ponyard around them that hold a leader's crest and Wait, then they, level up. They have to be holding a... They have to be holding a leader's crest and you might have to as well. Serebi doesn't specify that you have to be holding one, but it says they have to be holding one. So you could defeat five Bisharps before you unlock the requirements. That's so specific. It's incredibly specific. How rare is it to have a leader's crest? I don't know hold on it might be able it might tell me oh a 100 percent chance oh they all have as a... long as the bisharp is in a group of ponyard it's oh. a 100 percent chance oh that's not that bad yeah so that's that's not that bad okay and you have to defeat three of them and then you get your mighty king gambit now king gambit gets a new ability that's never that no other pokemon has and has never existed before but we'll talk about that in a second starting out with ponyard and bisharp uh, they both get the abilities Defiant, Inner Focus, and Pressure. Now, Defiant, what it does, its attack is raised by two stages when the Pokemon has its stats lowered. Now, this doesn't work on self-inflicted stat drops. So, for example, if the defending Pokemon used Growl and it lowered your attack by one, Defiant would then raise your attack by two, so you would end up having one attack buff. Instead Whoa. of the one defense, well, wow. the one drop. So yeah, that's great. You can't self-inflict it, which is fine. But still, that's really cool. You can end up doing a heck of a lot more attack. Inner Focus, uh, its effect is this Pokemon will not flinch. It doesn't prevent flinching with moves like Focus Punch. And it, it, it blocks Intimidate, which is nice. A lot of abilities have started to block Intimidate hmm. since Intimidate such an overpowered uh, ability. So yeah, just basically you can't flinch, which is fine, which is good. And then its hidden ability is pressure. When this Pokemon is hit by a move, the opponent's PP lowers by two rather than one. That's really good. That's funny. Yeah, you like the word PP. <laughs> um, now, here's the difference with King Gambit. Inner fo upon evolution, inner focus goes away and it instead has the ability Supreme Overlord. When the Pokemon enters a battle... Its attack and special attack stats are boosted by 10% for each of the allies in its party that has already been defeated. Okay. That's so that's cool. pretty cool. You bring them out towards the end? Yep. This is the kind of, the, I mean, situationally, it's the la one of the last Pokemon you want to send out, which is why uh, Champion Gita of Paldea has a King Gambit. And she chooses not to send it out last. Mm, I love At least she used to. I think they updated her team recently or something like that. So maybe she uses it a bit smarter. So they updated it so that like new players playing will get the the, the better strategy. Mm, see, I don't know. Maybe it's just a rebattle mm. team that's a that's lot better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, King Gambit is great. It has a... You know, before I talk about King Gambit stats, I want to talk about Bisharp. Because for so long, Bisharp, that was it. It yeah, was not was a following evolution. evolution. So, let's just run through all the stats. HP, 65. 
pretty low. Attack, 125. That's pretty good. It's really good. But do you remember what Excadrill's was last week? 130? 135. 135. Excadrill okay. has a slightly higher attack stat mm-hmm. than Bisharp, which I never would have guessed, honestly. Defense, 100. Oh, wow. Great. Special attack, 60. You're never going to use it. Special defense, 70. And speed, 70. Not the fastest guy out there. It's going to get outsped fairly often, but honestly, it's better than bulkier mons. So that's that's what's important. Then, King Gambit's stats get just a little bit better. HP, 100. So that's a big change. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a big change. That's good. Attack is now 135. So it only okay. goes up by 10. But, but it still, didn't need to go up that much. No, it's already a really, really high uh, attack stat to begin with. Defense is 120. Special attack stays the same. Special defense, 85. And its speed actually drops oh. and it's now at 50 speed mm, because so it's, it's got those boy. little tiny it's got those little tiny feet and it's hair yeah. that it sits on so here so king gambit you're just looking at the picture of it it looks great it's fantastic oh, yeah. i think it's wonderful then you see it move I and it just floats around yep. on its little hair that's stool. a certified pokemon company moment <laughs> yeah it floats on its hair stool it doesn't I want get to up and gouge walk. out with the <laughs> eyes of whoever decided that it looks oh, so bad I don't, want to animate this. <laughs> it I, don't lo- I don't get it i mean is there some sort of like japanese custom or tradition where the boss isn't supposed to move himself and it's like people will like lift his throne and move him is that? I mean, I don't know. Uh, Some sort of like samurai uh, balls? Shoguns were historically psychic and could move their bodies. <laughs> yeah, their that's that's what kind of sucks about this. If he gained this. like psychic type, I would get it. I'd be like, okay, he's a yes. funny little psychic floating guy. But I'm glad he remained Dark Steel. Oh, yeah. I think it's the perfect typing oh, for yeah. him. The, again, just the Pokemon company confuses me so much. His gender ratio is 50-50. Not 50.2, it's just 50-50. <laughs> of all Pokemon, I think he's more male-leaning, you know? Yeah, I can see that. But no, he is perfectly 50-50. And <laughs> if it's a mole. <laughs> yeah, but the mole has to be 50.2 male. And his height is finally something I can get behind. Now, this is probably <laughs> counting his giant sword on the top of his head, but he is six foot seven. Wow. So, if that... How tall do we think? So that, I, I imagine that sword is probably like a foot and a half. I think I think his sword is like if he's six foot seven. I think that sword is almost half his height. Well, when he's sitting down, I would agree. But it, I guess he never stands. But if he was standing, it would probably be a third of his height, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I I mean, do you want to do your finger measurements again, Joakim, like you used to? <laughs> no, this I'm is, kidding. No, I'm, it's I'm useless. Gonna do finger measurements. It's useless. All right, when I zoom in, he Dang is it. one joint tall, and then I, when I move my finger down, okay. he is he's about his his actual body height sitting down on his stupid hair. He's like okay, Give he's a up. little over. He's like one and a half jo- finger joints. So yeah. All right. Um, they I, all I think, fit in the same box, Joakim. <laughs> Ponyard's classification, by the way, is the Sharp Blade Pokemon. After evolving into Bisharp, it is the Sword Blade Pokemon. And King Gambit's classification is the Big Blade Pokemon. <laughs> so let's uh, let's do um, Pokedex entries now instead of saving that for later. Uh, Jokum, would you like to read Ponyard's black and white entry? Well, of course. You sounded kind of sleepy there. I'm very eepy. Um, blades comprise this Pokemon's entire body. If battling dulls the blades, it sharpens them on stones by the river. I'm really glad. It, like a I, thought, stone. I thought halfway through that it was going to say, if its blades dull, it dies. Oh. <laughs> no, but, but but it sharpens them specifically by rocks by the river, so it's like a whetstone. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, that's really, in in white, it's, uh, it says, they fight at Bisharp's command. They cling to their prey and inflict damage by sinking their blades into it. So Bisharp just tasks his little his little, yep. little children or yep. the little guys who follow him to just jump and they have blades on their stomachs so they just sink in so before king gambit bisharp was like this leader of the pack you know even still it kind of is very few for within the lore i feel very few bisharps become king gambit i'm i'm like really glad that um that bisharp finally has an evolution because it mm-hmm. always bugged me that like the 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 peak 
of the of the little uh, pawns can get is a bishop. It's got to get uh, to a king, yeah, it, or a queen I get at least. That. I totally get that. I, if anything, a queen does more. <laughs> yeah, chess. yeah. The king kind of just sits there. Um, I never thought Bisharp needed an evolution. I thought it was perfect the way it was, but. Now that King Gambit's here, I can see it. I can yeah. see the evolution line. I can see how it makes sense, and it does look completed. But Bisharp's uh, black and, uh, Pokemon Black entry, it leads a group of Ponyard. It battles to become the boss, but will be driven from the group if it loses. That's really sad. And it's Pokemon White entry. Bisharp pursues prey in the company of a large group of Ponyard. Then Bisharp finishes off the prey. So it has his little minions do all the dirty work, wow. and then it just comes in for the final stab. Jeez. Sounds like you and me. Yeah, you're my little pawn. Yeah, I do all the work. That's... Dang it. You kind of <laughs> turned that around on me. <laughs> and for King Gambit's Scarlet and Violet entries, let's start with Scarlet... Only a Bisharp that stands above all others in its vast army can evolve into King Gambit. So yeah, it's a pretty rare thing. And then Violet, though it commands a massive army in battle. Oh, interesting. It's not skilled at devising complex strategies. It just uses brute strength to keep pushing. Really? Yeah. I don't know how much I like that. I, I thought it was gonna be like, oh, King Gambit. Yeah. He's like, he's so you know, he's so smart and strategic. He's like that master he, commander. He doesn't need to get up because he's he's so good at strategizing that he can just float around uh -huh. and make decisions. But no, he's just some. It, it's all brute strength. It's like no, just keep pushing, keep sinking your blades into things. As I we guess move that's kind of cool. Yeah. Sasageo. <laughs> Um, so that he does seem to kind of be King Gambit's whole deal. He just kind of sits on his throne. Everybody else does his dirty work. And he's he's kind of almost kind of cowardly. I was going to say, that's kind of lame. Because his signature move is Kowtow Cleave. Now, do you know what Kowtow means, Joachim? Is that like bowing? Yes, it is an act. Um, just Google Dictionary says it's an act in an excessively subservient manner. And then it gives another definition example. Um, kneel and touch the ground with the forehead in worship or submission as part of Chinese custom. So King Gambit's signature move has him bowing his head in submission, but he has a giant it's kind blade, of crafty. Yeah, so he like slices down on the opponent. Like you've seen him in battle like yeah. slice his big head down. So it's kind of like a false surrender. I mean, I guess whatever gets his victory, right? I mean, the, the move's um, flavor even says, the user slashes at the target after kowtowing to make the target let down its guard. So it is a false surrender. It's, That's, it's, it's underhanded. That's, I feel like if I were like if I were a Pokemon and I saw it getting ready to kowtow, I would be like, oh, it's about to chop me. Yeah, like, wait, hold on. Its head is a giant knife. Um... It, do, it never misses, so that's good. It never misses. Never misses, does 85 damage. Oh, that's not bad. So it's not bad. Yeah. Um, it's not quite swift, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, swift. The best of moves. Uh, for context, swift never misses, but it does, like, 20 damage. Right? Yeah, 20 to 40, 20 something to 40. like that. Um, its moveset isn't the most diverse by level up. It gets moves like Night Slash, but you already have Kowtow Cleave, so why bother? I guess if you want the increased chance for crits. Um, it gets Iron Defense, Iron Head... It gets guillotine, which makes sense. Um, TMs, it gets low kick, um, low sweep, brick break, zen headbutt, shadow claw, um, poison jab. You know, the, the typical stuff you'd expect out of like a steel type who, who stabs, you know, X scissor, stuff like that. Um, it gets sucker punch through egg move, which is really good. I would. Does it have fists? Yeah, it has fists. Come on, I look at this dude. I can't remember. Oh yeah, he's just small, he's got little, small little fists. They look like does, they look like rockets. Does but... um, Bisharp have fists? Yeah, they all have hands. They have hands. Like, for some reason, my brain was telling me they all have little. Oh wow, they actually yeah, they're just kind of like stabby. They, they look like excadrills, like yeah. we were talking about last week, where they just kind of stab. For some reason, I thought that they all had like blade hands. Dang, Bisharp's got some thighs on him. Po Interesting. <laughs> we'll pocket that for later. Um, yeah, they have, they've all got cute little hands now. The shiny forms of these Pokemon are great, in my opinion. They just wow. basically the reds just turn to a nice deep blue. I that's almost purple. I like that. Yeah, like that's a nice pur bluish purple. Dang. Um, especially going back to their sprites. I mean, oh, the yeah, black and white hard. sprites of Ponyard and Bisharp. That's Bichard, so cool. That's so good. So that's like hard. a Power Ranger. Uh huh. 
Now, I still think it looks great in 3D, though. Oh, yeah. I think it looks great. And then King Gambit. The the red on his like blade mush, mustache yeah. stays, and so the red and the blue just pop off each yeah, other. Yeah, that's so really nicely. good. That makes that really makes me want a, a shiny poniard mm-hmm. just to get it up to that King Gambit. Yeah, honestly, this is a, an A tier shiny wow. here. All right, Joakim, I I always enjoy talking about this. Technically, King Gambit is a new not a form in a way, but it's something new that was added to Bisharp. So it's kind of hard to talk about anything new we'd want to see for the whole line yeah but is there any thoughts you've had about maybe like i i could not see king gambit getting a mega you know i i couldn't either i can't he, see he looks that pretty happening. mega himself yeah yeah um, honestly this was uh bisharp's mega evolution i can i, I feel I can like it would have been cool to see a queen gambit at the same time and maybe with like higher speed and more versatility mm-hmm. because the queen in chess is like yeah. So freaking versatile. I, I've seen a lot of fan art of people doing that. Like, like King Gambit can be the all-male evolution, and then Queen Gambit or whatever yeah. can be the all-female. And, the yeah, I, I like that um, – I like what you said about it being faster. Like, it's – maybe it's, de- its defenses are a lot lower, but its attack stays the same and it's fast, you know? Yeah. So unlike the, the bulky, you know, phys- uh, physical-hitting slow attacker – Queen Gambit could be maybe more of a special. I mean, nah, you don't want to make it a special no, attacker because Bisharp's already a physical attacker. Switching that up wouldn't be good. But uh, yeah, making it uh, faster and like glass cannony would be a really cool decision. Yeah, I, I agree. Maybe maybe it uh, maybe if it comes out at the beginning of like it has an ability that's like if it comes out at the beginning of the game. Mm, yeah, it's got more. Um, maybe it starts with what? like. Um, a super high boosted speed like it just coming out its speed is as high as it can possibly be and then every turn maybe it drops by one so it's like up front you can do as much and, and it's already kind of speedy anyway but basically first turn and like really a lot of the following turns it's going to be a menace yeah. the entire time that'd be sick i'd like that and then like a, maybe like a signature move that it scales with its speed so yeah. that its signature move is really good and then as the battle goes on and you're like okay no now yeah. it's not good anymore then you gotta start using other stuff that'd be sick as far as strategy goes i i don't know king gambit just kind of seems like a like what we've talked about with a lot of pokemon so far just a brute force attacker it's not really fast so i i, I can't I, maybe sucker punch you know uh, it's an egg move, so maybe a lot of people aren't expecting it. And Sucker Punch will always go first as long as the opposing Pokemon is readying an attack. You know, if, you, if you're going to use, like, thund- Thunder Wave, it's not going to work. But if, it, if you, as long as they're about to attack you... Oh, as long as it's a physical... As long as it's an attack, they'll do damage. An attacking move, yeah. Oh, okay. And Sucker Punch will go first, and uh, you're not, like, raising your stats or anything. Yeah, I, I... That's about all I've got. I really don't know what else you could do with it. I mean, just send it out... It, Send it out last. You know, make sure it's not one of your first Pokemon out. Because, you know what? You lose, like, four Pokemon on your team of six, five even. You send out King Gambit and start sucker punching everything. That's going to do a lot. Like, Supreme Overlord is going to kick in, and you're going to get, like, like 40, 50% buff to all of these attacks of yours. Mm. How much does Sucker Punch do? 70 damage, I believe. 70. Oh, wow. 70. So that's pretty decent. Yeah, dang. With a yeah, with that 40% boost, if four of your Pokemon have died. Mm-hmm. Or fainted, sorry. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. It could be a Nuzlocke. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, you're right. Really good stuff. King Gambit's just such an awesome Pokemon. I did not expect Bisharp to ever get an evolution. Yeah. I, I wanted to use Bisharp as a, as a kid. But then I would just look at it, and I, it felt so... To me, it felt really incomplete. Bisharp wow. was just like a thick-thighed, blade guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm like, I just... I, 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 there's something more. I mean, there's something needs to be squeezed out of it. That's interesting, because that, that thought... That, you know, there's Pokemon you look at, like Helioptile. And you're like, that Pokemon needs an evolution. You know? You know what I'm talking so. about? I guess so. I don't like looking at Helioptile. He's boring. <laughs> exactly. He needs something more to him. Um, but then... He really is just a bigger version of... The optile yeah, that came before. Uh, Heli- no, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Helioptile evolves, evolves into Heliolisk. Heli- oh, yeah. Heliolisk needs something more. Yeah. Um, but then there are Pokemon like Torkoal or Chinchino, where I'm like, no, you guys are good. I don't... Torkoal? It- I like... I, I like Torkoal. And I, mm-hmm. I want Torkoal to have more love. 
Listen, if they get an evolution, I'm not saying I'm going to be upset, but I look at them now and I say, the way you are, I think it's complete. I don't think it needs anything extra. You could argue that any Pokemon that doesn't have two stages could al could always get something extra, but it's not a necessity. Um, Bish that's all I was talking about Bisharp. The only reason I never used one, though, was because of that high evolution level. Level 52 mm. is a long time to wait. Yeah, a long time to just have a Ponyard. Mm -hmm. And Ponyard, really quick, let me check Ponyard's stats. I don't think they're anything special. Um, yeah, 85 attack. You know, for a basic Pokemon, isn't too bad, but 85 attack, 60 speed, you know, it's 70 defense. All right, you could you could do some damage with a Ponyard, but level, by the time you get it to level 52, you're, you're like, fighting the champion. Is... Is Ponyard like good in the, like I don't I don't know if you follow like the baby league like Little Cup Little Cup yeah I I have no clue I have no frame of reference for Little Cup I know Pokemon like like Diglett are good in Little Cup because of how fast it is um, I think Duraludon was banned yeah I was gonna, <laughs> they have to ban it <laughs> yeah I yeah I listen to another Pokemon podcast and every now and again they'll talk about Little Cup so that's the only like speckles of information I get from it. But, I don't know. It has a times four weakness to fighting, too. Steel and Dark has a, has that times four weakness, so I would imagine a lot of people kind of want to stay away from that. Mm. Um, but, who knows? King Gambit's still a good Pokemon, and I, I really enjoyed using it on my team. I It was one of the last Pokemon I added to my team. So, I... Because by Jokum's uh, suggestion, he's like, Frank, you should get a Bishop and evolve it into King Gambit. Because he looked at all the new Pokemon in the Pokedex before the game came out. I went in blind, and he's like, you should put a Gan King Gambit on your team. And I'm like, you know what? Sure, why not? Now we're at the part of the show where we don't talk about Wet and Dead, because we're yep. looking at the merchandise and how well King Gambit is represented by the Pokemon Company. And I think it's too new for merch, to be honest. There's been some cards made of it so far. They're pretty um, cool looking. Click on that one for me. This one here? Yeah. Um, it hasn't a... So it, I don't know how many cards have been made of King Gambit yet, but it ha, this one in particular has 170 HP and the ability Leadership. Your basic Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I don't and know why then, we're talking about Pokemon cards, though, because we Because we're talking about Pokemon. Sometimes we talk about so. their cards. That's, there's actually a surprising number of King Gambit cards out already. So the so three of them that you've we've looked at so far are all the same card. They're just oh. different variants of the same one, card. Two, oh, okay, yeah, three cards. Yeah, so I'm seeing two different cards, a Dark-type one and a Steel-type one. And then there's, like, full art and a shiny form and... That full art one is really cool. Yeah, this one? Yeah. yeah. It's surrounded by Ponyards and uh, two Bisharp. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, hey, it said it had an army, right? And now I want to get to the part of the show. Well, well hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanted to see about Bisharp and Ponyards sitting cuties. Oh, yeah. That's very important oh, yeah. to me, Jokum. Oh, they already had those. Yeah. Oh, cool. Don't worry. I know you want to talk about those thick thighs, but... Oh, wait, is that a keychain of King Gambit? Oh, uh, yeah. Is that official? Oh, from Plaza Japan. Mech oh, it's on... Huh, I don't know if that's official or not. I don't know. At $1.67, I don't Brand know. Brand Pokemon Center. That might be official. Just It's just being resold. That's cool. Can you stop me? Uh oh <laughs> <I'm> squeaking. <laughs> um, <laughs> the city... Is, is that an official sitting cutie? It doesn't have a... Oh, does it have pupils? Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. It's kind of small. Yeah, the, the sitting cutie's all right. I mean... It's kind of cute. The, the blades are always yeah, kind of to the that, side the a little it's, bit. It's a very um, angular Pokemon, and it, it's making it floppy. Hmm. It's not... It's I don't know. It, it was never going to look amazing. Yeah. they. I think they look fine. They're good. I If you love Bisharp and Ponyard, then you're going to like the sitting cuties. All right, Jokum, take now it away. Now is the part of the show where I scroll through Google Images until we see something ridiculous. Should we do King uh, Gambit, or should we do... I mean, that's kind of funny. Oh, that, that's just its in-game booty. It, they gave it a bottom? I That might be fake. I don't okay, know. Okay, because we're looking... Yeah. We're trying to see how long it takes Google Images to give us something weird. Something but horrendous. Honestly, there's not really anything yeah. terrible coming up for King Gambit. I think it's, oh, it's wait. King, hold on a second. There is a, there's a fan art... Of a King Gambit sensually holding, what's his name, Giacomo, Giacomo from uh, Scarlet and Violet. Giacomo. I think, Giacomo. I think we'll find more interesting 
things with Bish Harp. Yeah, Gingam is still a little new. All right. Where are we? Uh, this is more difficult than extra drill. <laughs> wow. How did... Okay, that doesn't count. That's just like a... Uh, uh, she, yeah. She, anthropomorphized she, Bisharp looking a little bit upset that they someone's wrapped... Christmas lights Christmas around lights. Hold on. Oh, yeah. They okay, plumped up those thighs yeah. big time. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, all right. It didn't take that long. No, just just a few scrolls. Just a few scrolls. At? Okay. Honestly, there's... It's not as much as I'd expect. Yeah, you really... Because my theory is that the closer a Pokemon is to just being a human, the more... Oh, that doesn't stop people. That will not stop The (laughs) mole. Yeah, the mole. I think the mole had more art. Yeah. Well. Well, that's good to know. People... I mean, he's too sharp and angular, you know? How would that stop people? A mole. A a mole mole is a mole. A mole. Anyways, I think it's about time we get to the part of the show... Where, where the boys, the boys discuss, discuss the, the, well, let's not, let's let's not talk roll, it. Let's, 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 let's let us thing. sing it. This is the part of the show where the boys discuss how edible, edible, edible the pocket monsters that we focused on won't be long to let them come along to the segment of the show. Yes, indeed. This is the part of the show where we talk about how much we want to marry cutlery <laughs> or eat it, or beat it. Oh, this is gonna be another. This is gonna be another hard one. Yeah. Um, I can't hug this Pokemon. Yeah, no, it's literally <laughs> hugging it would kill you the way its babies used to kill. Ponyard? Oh, Ponyard, Ponyard yeah. Would just like just hug digging it. its blades in. Yeah. yeah. Its stomach is literally like nothing but like blades. It's just two circular There's blades. No, where's the tummy? There's, the tummy is such an important aspect. Do you think it's? Do you think its thighs are squishy? Or do you think that's just hard metal? I think it's hard metal. I it, I want them to be squishy. I can't... I mean, again, I always want to go to hand-holding. And I can't interlock fingers with this thing because it doesn't have fingers. It has two blades with thumb blades. But we can't we can't rate this lower than the mole, though. <laughs> Would we rate the mole a three? <laughs> three. <laughs> But, but what is mold? there? The, at least the mole is squishy. This is human shaped. I, I would, I would kiss it in the middle of winter, and my lips would stick to it. If not lover, then why human shaped? <laughs> okay, wait, what is it? Does it have something? For... It has like a little V mouth thing. Uh, that's better than the mole. What? What's wrong Look, with us? Why we... is this even a segment? <laughs> I don't know. It's human shaped. It's human shaped, but it's. I don't want to touch it. I I don't want to touch it. I could at least pet Excadrill. I could I could pet Barbarical. Like I where, I can't. Where are you gonna pet Barbarical? His the cute rock? little barnacle head. That hand. <laughs> I can't pet this thing. It's cold. It's hard. And it's sharp. I'm giving it a four out of ten because it's not a mole. It's not a animal. I mean, it's our Pokemon animal. This is a... Yeah, they're based off of animals for the most that's part. That thing isn't. That's based well, off no, of a human this being. Isn't. This is based off of a samurai which is with no Yo, sword. And chess. And chess. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's better than Metagross and Garboder. All right, now anthropomorphized. It'd just be a cute uh, samurai I think it's, 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 woman. It's a, um, like a blade-collecting girlfriend. Hmm. I think I think an armor collecting girl. Armor collecting wife. She 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 collect Japanese like like armor and weaponry. That's cool. That's cute. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's like answer that. for what five. So yeah, it doesn't really. Count. I think she she'd always kind of be wearing. She'd like she'd like to wear the helmet that Bishop kind of uh, has on his head. She'd like to wear that around the house. Awesome. And, that would be and awesome. And you're always like, oh, are you wearing your helmet again? And she'd go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh wait, we should we should be talking about kind of King Gambit. <laughs> Oh, Oof, that's also difficult. No, that's we typically a... talk about the final evolution yeah. with all of this, but we Too, forgot. Okay, <laughs> I get. I it's worse than the mole when it's King Gambit because it's just like a like a big dude with a big mustache. That that could be a woman. Fifty percent chance. No, that's a good point. Does it have? I think there's lips little, under there. It's got little nipple marks. It does have nipple Why marks. Why did they give it nipple marks? And it's like over its quote unquote clothing. Why? Okay, so it's never gonna stand up, so that sucks. Um, you can't kiss it because there's a big blade in front of its mouth. Yeah, I. There might be. I can't put it lower than a mole. 
But at least that one's squishy. <laughs> at least this that one can you can hug. 3.1 out of 10. Because <laughs> it's better than a mole. Yeah, 3.1 out of 10. I just, I feel like, I feel like anthropomorphized King Gambit would be kind of lazy. Yes, they would be. I like Bisharp because Bisharp is like the, the, the armor and weapon collecting yeah. uh, wife that's like, like active yeah like king gambit just sits on the sofa and watches samurai movies I'm like, all day oh you ordered another you ordered <laughs> another sword where are we gonna put it and they're like i don't know i don't know and i'm like okay um. yeah she, she just watches samurai movies like all day never getting up never lifting a finger and she she just keeps looking at the the tv going i could do that <laughs> oh, i could do that I was just telling, t- talking about that one scene from that oh, crap what's that movie where there was like all that blood came out after that slash you don't know what? the ones I don't, Paul always talks about it. Oh, Paul loves those movies. Yeah, Paul is King Gambit. No, he's not. <laughs> he's Bisharp. He's Bisharp. Um, all right. So, yeah, I, 3.1 for both of them. I couldn't. I couldn't deal uh, with Bisharp, that. Bisharp, 4.5. King Gambit, sure. 3.1. I cannot, physically, I cannot physically love Bisharp. But Bish, anthropomorphized Bisharp, I think it would okay, be fine. a successful Anthropom- marriage. Yes, that'd be a successful marriage. King She'd Gambit, I don't know. There would be tension. <laughs> Um, fed. <laughs> There's nothing to eat. I think there might be a little bit of meat under those bones. I think 90% of steel types have no meat. Okay, I need to look at its face. Hold on, let's zoom in. Enhanced. Hmm. There's nothing there. I don't know if you I can... think, I like to think that it's got kind of a chunky core in Bisharp, right? And then King Gambit, it's got those really thin arms. Those probably are yeah. just like steel. Yeah, steel beams, I, steel rods. But I, I like to think that there is a nugget somewhere in there of organic <sighs> just meat. Does it have organs? Why not? Okay. What's it being held together by? Dark type it's, magic? Yeah. All right. Hey, let's crack it open and make I, organ meat stew. But it probably tastes super metallic. <sighs> I don't think this oh, is good eating. I don't think no. we're eating good. Either I, of them. I think, I, the I think ta- it's a one. I think it's a one on the fed scale. There's I, nothing to it. I think there... I, I think it's a two only because you can. I think there is something in deep inside of it that you can't eat. We gave like Gar- Garboder and Metagross a one, I think. Can we give them a zero? Because I don't think we can eat any part of Metagross. I don't remember what we did. No, that I think matter. for Metagross we said even the the, the eyes and the tongue aren't edible. Well, they, yeah, I think there's something edible in this because it looks a little more like squishy and flexible. I those thighs. <gasps> what happens if those thighs are like meaty? Why would there be meat in just the thighs and not the look arms how or the fat legs? They are. The arms are so thin, but look how fat those thighs are. I I have never seen any proof that there is any meat in the, to this Pokemon. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. I think I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm I'm thinking I can slice into those thighs and get a little something. something. So I'm gonna give it a three out of ten, only because I have hope in the thigh. Give it a one out of ten. <laughs> one out of ten, really? Okay. Yeah. And when you realize that those are just like aluminum on the inside, then. Sorry. I need... Yeah. I'm thinking about our rating system. I'm like, it makes me want to go back in time and, like, change my, my Excadrill rating to 2 out of 10. I don't want to wet it. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it's a mole. All Anyways. right. And then dead. I no. once again think there's no, no way. No, this is beyond bear level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really fast. It has blades. Okay, but... We were just talking last week with Excadrill. You gave yourself a little bit of a chance. Oh, yeah. I'll give myself some chance with this. What chance do you have? King Gambit's really slow. And I know I'm not a stupid little animal, so I know that if it's going to kowtow, I'll just move to the side. And then once it's down, I'll start bashing its head. Again, hand to hand? No. I, there's no I'm not yeah. going to grab anywhere that this thing will just yeah. cut off my fingers. I, one out of ten. Zero out of ten. One... Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. King Gambit, though, if I have a baseball bat, King Gambit is slow. How? What's King Gambit's base speed? Oh, it was like fifty or something. Fifty? I think. I think I have a base speed of sixty. Fifty. What? Did, we got to remember what we decided on. I a think human's 60. base I think, speed I is think, like sixty-five. I feel. Sixty-five. Fif- you want to go? Fifty-five. It might have been fifty-five. <sighs> what's King Gambit's base speed? Fifty. We'd be just okay. Barely okay. Faster. We, we were still beating it. Do we, are we settling on 55? You really 55 think? to 60, I feel, is a good human I want to give myself 60. Speed. Okay. I think I can blitz it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think I you don't can. blitz it. No, no, no. But what happens is it, it kowtows to me, right? Like, oh, well, trust me, I'm going to kowtow. <laughs> it bends over. I am already moved to the side. And then I whack, start, boom, boom, boom. 
boom, hitting on the I back of the I think it's going to count bat. out, and then as soon as its forehead hits the ground, it comes back up. It doesn't give you much time. It's slow. And, and... King Gambit has an army of Ponyard and Bisharp. No, this is a one-on-one. -on -one. What are you talking about? You can't just... Oh, uh, oh, 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 Batman gets prep time. <laughs> Frick you. Every single Batman fanboy is always going to say no, that. No, okay, if it, I, I would get it if it was like wishy-washy, right? Where canonically it's just a yeah. bunch of wishy-washy. But there's no... Yeah. This is one freaking King, King Gambit. I love wishy-washy, don't you dare. No, this bad. is one King Gambit. I give myself a... 25% chance... Mm, okay, no, you're right. Give, uh, uh, that's optimistic. <laughs> I give myself a 15% chance... I give myself... Rating. With a metal bat. A f you know what? 15% chance for King Gambit with a metal bat. Sure. I give myself a 2% chance of beating Bisharp. Yeah. Even with a metal bat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 2%. Yeah, 100%. I, like I always say, it, I would have to catch it lacking. It would have... A, a drone delivering somebody's food would have to crash into the back of its head and distract it to where I could get a second's chance. That's the only way. Yeah. Like, like Otherwise, it's just it's just gutting me. Yeah, I, I give myself a 1% chance too with, with Bashar. Yeah, I... Oh, I give myself a 2% chance. Oh, that's fine. Good for you. <laughs> mole, I'm gonna win. Mole breeder. <laughs> Oh, absolutely not. we got to get off of extra drill. Oh. I, uh, I, I'm just ashamed of myself <laughs> giving it a 3 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that, that was bad. Um, but listen, guys, thank you so very much for listening to this podcast. If you liked it, please rate it 5 stars. And if you want more Pokemon content on my YouTube channel, let's be frank, I talk about Pokemon semi-often. Like, I love Pokemon, so I want to talk about it every now and again, but there's other topics I like to hit, too, that I'm sure you'd enjoy. If you want more Joachim, him and I do a series on my channel called Taboo Foods. We cook weird or odd foods that a lot of people wouldn't think would be good, but it turns out really good. Like, we made garlic and chili cuttlefish one time. That was really good. There's tons of videos on the channel like that. Go check them out. And once again, thank you for watching. This has been your Certified Pokey Moment. Moment.